Hello, and welcome to another episode of Data Talks Learning by Doing. Uh, today, we're going to be going over another group by exercise in Pandas, uh, where you get to watch a real data scientist go through some Pandas exercises. I know this has helped my students in the past when they're learning about Pandas and data science, so hopefully it will help you. So with no further ado, let's jump in. Today, we're going into the grouping exercises and the regiment exercise of Gwipsamoro's library. Uh, I'll definitely leave a link uh, to exactly where you can find this in the description, uh, but with no further ado, let's get into it. Um, so, uh, we're in this, let's go ahead and get the only library that is important, uh, good old pandas, um, uh, as PD. Um, we'll want to make a data frame with this. So, I've actually seen this data set used before in one of the previous exercises. I've been, I've been, I've been doing a lot of these. Um, and, yeah, so I kind of know what's going on here. So they give us some raw data. Uh, they want us to uh, take this and they wanted to uh, make it into a data frame. So df equals uh, pd dot uh, data frame. It's kind of funky. I really dislike this that it's like capital data capital frame. A little bit weird. Uh, and just taking the raw data. So pretty simple. Um, okay. So what is the mean pretest score from the regiment Nighthawks? Okay. So let's check out what this data frame looks like. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so I think it's, I'm trying to, I was trying to think of a way to do this with uh, group by, but I think I will just do it sort of the old fashioned way. So let's go ahead and find the regiment called Nighthawks. Pretty simple. So DF, and then let's go ahead and just go with, um, let's grab the pretest score. Uh, we, we can just do dot mean. This will just give us everything. So the pretest score will be 15.25. So good. Uh, present general statistics by company. <laughs> present. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't really know what I'm doing. But okay. Um, so companies. So there's a couple of companies here. So we want to go ahead and just do group by. Then we want uh, group by company. Uh, and then we want... Uh, dot uh, ag, um, and we want general statistics. We want all the statistics. Okay, this is easy. So we can just do describe. Um, describe. So describe goes ahead and just describes specifically what's happening here. So there's only really two things, two statistics we've got, pretest score and then post-test score. Um, so kind of cool. I wonder if you can even do this, include, include equals all. No, you can't. Okay, good to, oh, include. Uh, yeah, you can. Uh, so you, you can get a lot of statistics. Um, and probably what I would do here is just do a dot transpose because, yeah, so there you go. Uh, so you can get statistics on the name, the regiment, the pretest score, the post-test score uh, for each company. And the companies are sort of located here, first and second. So I hope this was interesting to you. Um, it's kind of cool to me too. Um, okay. What is the mean of each company's pretest score? Uh, well, I mean, we literally just did that, uh, but you know what? Let's do it. In, let's do it in a nice way. So df dot group by. We're going to go ahead and group by company. Um, and again, I just like showing you this because ag is just the way to go. So this is with the ag format. Um, ag is kind of the new way to do group buys. I've gone ahead and done some videos on this as well. So if you want to check out uh, sort of tutorials on ag, please do. Uh, and then we just want the mean. And so notice, it's just very readable. We group by company, we get an aggregation, we get an aggregate statistic on the pretest score, and that aggregate st uh, statistic is going to be the mean. So great. So we go ahead, we see the second company, much better pretest score. Uh, present the mean pretest scores grouped by regiment and company. Easy. Um, if we want to go ahead and do this by two things, we simply add a little list in here. I just it's just amazing how good um, uh, pandas is, just in this case, uh, right? It's just, look at this, so simple. Um, so we get regiment, company, we get the mean pretest score, okay? Uh, present the mean pretest scores grouped by regiment and company without hierarchical indexing. Um, so this, this is what they mean by hierarchical indexing. Uh, so the way to go ahead and do this is pretty simple. Um, so I will call this group by. Um, you can just do group by dot reset index. I just absolutely love this. Um, and I actually, in, in my sort of, great, 
So look at this. So a company, oh, uh, right, 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 right. Um, you want to include both of these. Uh, so there you go. This is just a normal data frame once again. So I talk a little bit about this, this reset index and when you and how you should do it uh, over in my video sort of on uh, how to go ahead and use group by an ag. Uh, so this is super useful. Uh, group the entire data frame by regiment and company. Okay, easy. Um, so this is group, this is the group by of the entire data frame by regiment and company. Uh, and then what is the number of observations in each regiment and company? So this is pretty simple. You just do group by dot size um, is the one that will give us that. It's the number of observations. So two <clears throat> in each regiment and company. Iterate over a group and print the name and the whole data from the regiment. Iterate over a group and print the name and the whole data from the regiment. Hmm. Okay, uh, I don't exactly know what that means. Um, I've never done this before. Uh, I will tell you that generally speaking, iterating is, is not the best thing to do. Um, does it even have an iter? Um, ID max, and the percent change, sample size, variance. Um, so if you are using pandas, probably the last, maybe groups, um, probably the last thing that you ever want to do is you want to iterate. Um, generally speaking, iterating over it means you're not doing it necessarily appropriately. Okay, groups, group labels, okay, there's a property. Um, that doesn't seem right. Um, but we can try to do this. I don't even know if you can do this. For group in group by, uh, print uh, group. Okay, well, yeah, so we were able to do this. It looks like this is an iterable. Um, let's go ahead and check this out. Uh, so it looks to be a tuple of um, what the uh, company is. Um, and then the next thing is regiment company name pretest score. Looks like, and then the data frame containing it. Okay, so. Um, the first thing, these will be the uh, group uh, labels and then the data frame and then the group uh, data frame. I don't know if you guys sort of see this. This looks to be the labels in this part of the tuple and this looks to be a data frame. I'm going to guess. Um, so let's do that. Um, and then we've got the group data frame. Yeah, so this is the group data frame. So iterate over a group and print the name and the whole data from the regiment. Um, I'm guessing this is kind of what it wants us to do. Print, it's kind of, I hope you guys sort of see what I, I don't exactly know what the question means. So there it is. So I'm iterating over a group and then printing the name and the whole data from the regiment. So here's the regiment, and here's all of the data. So I hope that's what it means, but we will see. So I, as you can sort of tell, like if you're a data scientist and you get a question like that via email or Slack, definitely just go back and forth with someone because they probably have a very specific idea of what they mean by this, versus I actually don't know what they mean by this. But fortunately, we have the solutions. So let's go check out what the solutions are. Again, I wouldn't recommend ever doing this type of for loop, um, unless you're working with a very, very small data frame. Otherwise, this will be not super performant. Um, so let's go over the regiment, exercise plus solutions. Okay. So I think most of these will be pretty explanatory. They'll be basically the same. So raw data, great. Um, ye okay, what is the pretest score from the regiment of the Nighthawks? Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this is really funky. Uh, I have no idea why they did a group by after just segmenting it to the Nighthawks. So, a little weird. Um, the describe, that's perfect. Um, that company. Uh, what is the mean of each company? So, pretest for that mean, perfect. 
uh, present the pretest source. Again, I prefer to use the ag syntax instead of this syntax, but this is totally fine. Uh, regiment and company, perfect. Uh, okay, they did unstack, which is totally fine. Reset index is a, is a good way to do it. Unstack is another way to do it. If you want to learn more about stacking and unstacking, definitely do check out my video in the Opinionate Guide to Pandas. It's a little confusing, but it's super useful. Um, basically, what unstack does is it takes some of the uh, stuff that used to be in the index and it smashes it into columns, as you can see. Um, group the entire data frame by regiment and company. Okay, and then take the mean. Again, I would probably rewrite some of these questions. Um, and then what is the number of observations each relevant? They use the dot size. Okay, and this is what they did. Okay, so name, group. So, okay, great. So they, they did do this kind of like iteration thing. So you can actually iterate through these guys. I wouldn't personally iterate through them myself. But, you know, that's, that's one, it's one data scientist versus another one. You know, probably both ways will work. Okay, so if you guys have any questions or comments, please do comment below. This was a little bit of a confusing video as in there were a couple of things that I saw different from the solutions in my own exercises. Um, but if you liked it, definitely do that big thumbs up button. That always helps and it lets me know that you guys are enjoying it. Otherwise, I hope to see you guys in the next video. So this is a wrap from Data Talks. Thanks.